Derby County, Nottingham Forest. Just 13 miles separates these East Midlands rivals. But this is not a conflict based on geography alone. Time for a history lesson. The clubs first faced off on the 1st of October, 1892, and a few faces crossed the divide in the decades that followed. Things really started to heat up in the 1970s. Brian Clough and Peter Taylor led Derby to the top of the mountain as champions of England in 72. Alan Hinton, signed from Forest in 67, was a key part of the Rams' golden era. In 73, Derby poached another from the city ground. Dave Mackay played with distinction for the Rams. He managed them to their second title. And while the Rams were toasting another trophy, a revolution was underway at Forest, thanks to the men who had transformed Derby. Clough and Taylor arrived in 75. Brian would stay for the next 18 years, bringing a league championship and two European Cups to Nottingham. The fairy tale, though, would have a tragic end. Taylor returned to Derby in 82. In 83, he signed John Robertson from Forest. Brian and Peter would never speak to each other again. But Clough, Taylor and Mackay are not the only men to have managed both teams. Billy Davis took over at Forest twice, having won promotion to the Premier League with Derby. Steve McLaren failed at Forest, lasting just 112 days. He came close to matching Davis's achievement with the Rams, falling at the final Wembley hurdle. And then there's Nigel Clough. Son of Brian, Nigel is a Forest legend in his own right but the second all-time leading goalscorer at the city ground followed in his father's footsteps, not in Nottingham, but in Derby. He had some masterful moments against his old club too, winning this thing more than a few times. Did we mention that since 2007, Derby and Forrest have competed for the Brian Clough Trophy? This isn't a rivalry based on our differences. This is a rivalry built on what we share the genius of a friendship that led both clubs to their highest heights, and moments of magic from men whose hearts pumped red but bled black and white too. Heroes who have fallen in the eyes of one city, only to rise to the status of gods in the other. This is about our passion, our pride, our history. So yes, it is about those 13 miles, every inch of it paved with the memories of what's gone before and bearing the name of the man whose legacy will link them forever.